and welcome to Love the Planet. My name is Holly and this is part two of your mini series from the cruelty-free-beauty-box.co.uk. So if you haven't already done so, please watch the introduction video because it tells you all about the fabulous company. Essentially it's a subscription service where you sign up to different boxes and you receive your beauty products inside. So this is the box, this is what it looks like. I think I showed it to you before but I actually showed it to you open so it's full of all the gorgeous packaging. It's like Christmas and you've got all your products in there. They are all vegan, they are all cruelty-free and in this particular box, the Beauty Mini, they're all plastic free too. So, today we are looking at product number two. And product number two is the Green Frog Facial Cognac Sponge. Now you'll probably remember I have already reviewed a cognac sponge from the Beauty Kitchen, so I will show you what they are like side by side. Um, it's hard to actually compare them because essentially they're 100% cognac, and that is a root of a porous plant from Asia. It's quite a rubbery plant, hence why it feels rubbery. It's not actually very spongy, it's more rubbery, it's gorgeous. But it's hard to actually compare them because essentially they're exactly the same thing if they're 100% natural. The differences, however, are things like string length. So this is the one from Green Frog, and this is the one from Beauty Kitchen. So one's a little bit shorter than the other, but not by much. Um, the bigger difference, I think, is actually the one from Green Frog is a completely different shape. So if I show you, that one is a lot thinner. So that's a very flat sponge, whereas this one's quite round. It's got a big dome at the front. Now, I actually think that does make a difference. And when I've been using it, I've been having quite a lot of fun with what side is better uh, for different things. And I found that when you add a cleanser to it, it's actually quite nice to use the flat side. Um, but in the mornings, when I just want a really fresh wash, and I'm not necessarily adding anything to it at all, then the dome side really gets in and makes you feel glorious. So this is a completely natural product, and what it does is fantastic. It's essentially a scrub and an exfoliant without being scrubby. <laughs> so there's no um, abrasiveness on your skin at all whatsoever. It feels incredibly soft, but it essentially does that same job of getting those dead skin cells away and cleaning away any muck or dirt that's there. And you are left with a really gorgeous feeling. I was kind of like, what? What's it gonna do? Um, but straight away, my skin was brighter, um, clearer, uh, after a couple of days if it had any kind of uh, blemishes or anything like that it healed them really quickly um, but also it feels a little bit tighter it feels fresher uh, particularly in the mornings when you don't necessarily want to use any products on them because it's always good to keep your natural oils too it's lovely to go over your face wakes you right up and you instantly feel refreshed and brighter and you look that way too so I mean straight away I think these are great I think it's a really wonderful product now I did try and remove my makeup with it um, so I put some of my Lush 9 to 5 on here, um, rubbed it into my eye, it didn't work. <laughs> so it doesn't take makeup off. Um, what it does is it washes your face, refreshes it, makes it cleaner, makes it brighter. Um, you can use cleansers with it. So another product that I'll talk about in part four of the mini series um, is a really gorgeous facial bar cleanser that I got in this uh, beauty box. And I rubbed it onto that side and I used it all over my face and it worked beautifully. So for face cleaning and cleansing, fabulous. But for makeup removal, particularly eyes, nah, it'll do your face, but not your eyes. So, gorgeous, gorgeous product to be honest. I mean, really similar prices. Uh, these are available online at around seven pounds. Um, and the cruelty free, uh, the beauty kitchen one is exactly the same. So they're roughly, they all range from about six to 750. Um, and the main difference you're really getting is just the shape. So I can't really declare a winner, although I think I prefer the dome for the mornings when I don't use any product on it at all. Um, it's incredibly clever, this kind of exfoliation without any kind of scrub or grain at all whatsoever. It's really soft and it has made a difference. I've used this for a week and I already feel like my skin is a little bit smoother and softer. Um, I'm really enjoying it. It's now my new morning thing. Um, and it, it's, I didn't think anything would take over my little, I had a little uh, bar from Lush, the Movis one, which I'll also um, review. And I didn't think anything would, you know, would take over my morning Movis bar. Um, this has, I prefer it. It's really nice and I love how it's totally natural. So, give it a go if you can. That is available in the cruelty-free-beautybox.co.uk. It's also on their website if you wanted to buy it separately. And you can have a 10% discount on box subscriptions uh, with the code LOVEPLANET10. That's a really special present from the Cruelty Free Beauty Box. So thank you so much. And for every subscription box that you sign up for, you can get that discount. So go ahead, because it's awesome.
Um, I will be back with part three and part four to tell you more about the other products within it. But so far, I'm loving this service. I'm loving the idea. I love the ethos of the company. Um, and I'm really enjoying using the products as well. So if you haven't already, get yourself a cognac sponge because it might transform your, mo transform your mornings. Okay, have a really lovely day. Speak to you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.